Sysnet's a software and services company. We've been in the sector for over 20 years, which is, uh, I think, is quite a good achievement. And we've had to change almost every five years as technology has moved on. Uh, for the last five years, we have been in the mobility space and we've tried to move from being service only oriented to developing our own IP and developing a suite of products for sectors. Um, and that is starting to pay dividends for us now. What sectors are you involved in primarily? Primarily we're in the transport and logistics sector, the construction sector, and I would say the public sector. What sort of products are you developing? The products we like to develop are, um, we're very much an engineering focused company, so what we like to do is develop practical technology based solutions for practical people. So the construction sector, for example, we develop a defect management system that uses a, an innovative digital pen to allow people to record defects using a pen and paper the way they always have done. But they get the benefits of having an electronic system that manages everything and all the workflow around that. So it's very much a meeting of tradition meets technology, as it were. Um, in the transport sector, for example, we use the same digital pen for load control for British Airways. Um, and the big problem there is that you can't get the information quickly enough from the aircraft side back to a central load control area. So again, and they need a signature. So again, we put in a very, for the user, low-tech solution where they use a digital pen, but some very high-tech software on mobile phones and transmission mechanisms to take an electronic image of what they've written, translate that information into computer speak and present it to the load control you know, central hub on a screen. Well, in some situations, the digital pen uh, that we use is very good for data capture and really just being able to write on a piece of paper you know, using a, a normal device that everybody's used to using. Uh, that works really well for service engineers, people who are out and about in a, in a hostile environment such as a construction site or at the side of an aircraft. Um, and in many situations, that works really well. However, for the property business, uh, the, what we found is that uh, getting feedback um, immediately in front of the user as they fill, fill out a form, uh, having the information captured uh, and you know, validated and immediate information brought back is very, very important uh, for them. And so essentially what we're doing is about choosing the right user interface for, for people with the back-end systems that we build being relatively static nowadays, building uh, more and more reliability into these and lower cost but choosing the right kind of device for, for the environment that the user is working in. Looking forward, uh, we'll pursue our product-based strategy and um, the company will grow and then start to split into s smaller companies, each one that is uh, run or, or driven by each of these products. We have three products at the moment. We have our Snagmaster product, so that will likely become its own cost centre and then company. We have an innovative e-correspondence system that is launching on the market uh, in January 2011. We see that going the same way. And we have a, uh, something else coming um, in the middle of the year for the property market. And again, our hope is that that will go each way. So what we see is that Sysnet, the core Sysnet, will try and generate IP. That will then sell under a product name, which will then become a new company and grow in its own right.